All right guys, today we're gonna be in for another adventure. We're talking DNS records here. This is so freaking cool. Instead of having to remember IP addresses, so you can put named things on your network. Let's get into that video. <laughs> It's pretty cool, like if you're a business, you're at home, and you basically wanna be able to access uh, your network devices without having to type an IP address, well, then this is what it is for you. Easy to remember, you can name cameras, cameras.com, co.co, whatever you want, and it just works freaking awesome. And there are some other cool features too for mapping the drive that we'll get into right now. So the first thing you're gonna do, I'm on network controller 8.29, oh sorry, 8.2.93 controller right now. So we're gonna to go to routing and then we're gonna to go to DNS. And as you can see, I already have some made here. This is for my brother-in-law's network so he can access this stuff pretty easy. And so all you have to do is if you wanna manage, you can manage one, you can delete or pause them just like you know the other firewall rules here that I've already created. I'm gonna show you how to create them though. So we're gonna create a new entry. Now, we're doing host A, this is for IPv4. Host A, triple A, uh, quad A, whatever you wanna do it. Uh, that's for IPv6. He doesn't have IPv6 network, so we're not gonna do that. So we're just gonna do IPv4, so do A. And we're gonna do, so what do you wanna call this? Dot com, dot co, whatever. Uh, let's do, we could do whatever. So like if it was his, let's say his server he could just do server right there just put server type in his server's ip address and hit add and boom that's all you got to do so now just to show you so this ip address let's say was cloud is 192.168.1.100 so if i type that in here 1.100 it should come up, there it is, right there. But let's say you don't wanna to have to remember that. That's hard for everyone to remember that addresses, he wants to change stuff. I named it cloud.com. So I, can, and I named it, you can do co, but just for other people that wouldn't think of co or they don't go into it often. Most people when they type in a web page up there is gonna be .com, so the .com, the cloud.com that it would send you to usually, uh, he didn't care about, so don't worry about that. So I just go to cloud.com. Oh, there's a nine in there. And I hit enter. And boom, takes me right there. So he can get right to it without having to do the IP address. It's so freaking cool. And here's another cool thing about this too. When you map your drives. So if you were to map your drives, Let's go to this PC. Uh, let's go to, I'm just trying to think here. Yeah, let's do that, okay. This PC, I got a lot of Mac drives here. What you can do, you can map a new drive and we're just gonna type in cloud. And there it is, right there. Let's see here, see if it comes up. Oh, I gotta put my password and stuff in. I don't even have the password and stuff like that. But okay, let's just say it's cloud.com, whatever. It's pretty dang cool, right? So let's say you map your drive using the name instead of the IP address. Here's the benefit. Let's say you have a business and they have a lot of computers, different areas, different sections, running, whether you're using a site-to-site -site VPN or just a lot of work computers on the same network and you're like, hey, we're gonna upgrade our network, or for some weird reason, we're changing the IP address of the server. Guess what? You're not gonna to have to go to each individual computer and remap the drive because all you'd have to do, it's under cloud.com. All you would have to do is go back here, go to cloud, and just edit the new IP address in there, and then everybody would just connect like usual again because we're going to .com, cloud.com. It's not an IP address range. The IP address is tied with that name. So as long as you don't change the name, everybody's gonna get the new address and you're rocking and rolling again. This just makes it so easy for everyone to get their stuff going. And hey, if you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my videos. But yeah, 
The reason I made this, this is just so cool. Let's show you another one too. So they have an HD home run for their TV for his Plex. He's like, oh, he doesn't, he's not gonna remember that. So then this is his IP address, 164. I'm like, tv.com. Okay, let's just do tv.com. How hard is that to remember? So all he has to do is go tv.com. And I'm, VP, I'm VPNing into his network right now. That's why it's not going as quick as it should. But then there it is. Otherwise, it'd be instant, like boom, 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 if I was literally on his network. I VPNed in right now, so I'm doing this tutorial. Um, now, you gotta think, some of these might not apply right away. You gotta clear your catch or your browser, clear your history, not as in, yeah, just clear your history, your catch and stuff like that, because it might bring up the pages before or it might not work, but as soon as you do that, boom, it's gonna work every time, you don't have to clear it again. Just this first time, if, as long as you keep that. Now, if you have a pie hole, or anything like that, you're gonna have to do it on your pie hole too, because if you're just doing it on the router, whatever's handling your DNS is gonna have to be changed too. So you can do it on both. So if you, let's say you have a pie hole, you change your DNS on your pie hole. So let me show you right now. So what we would do, we'll go to my pie hole, even though I'm connected in, I think I can do it. Oh, one, four, there we go. All right. Oh. Thank you. All right. So what you'd want to do is under local DNS, DNS records, you can add it in here. This is what you do if you had a pie hole. So when you're, so I do it on your Unify and on your pie hole itself. So let's just give an example. Like I said, if I do were to do cloud here, let's just pretend that he has a pie hole. Cloud.com and do the same IP address. One. And we'll hit add. Boom, it's added right here. So now let's say for some reason this drive is already mapped to his computer, but you didn't change the cloud in this. Let's just say the pie hole goes down and you're like, oh, I need to go back on that VLAN and set the IP address to Cloudflare. It's automatically, since this matches with this, it's just gonna work right away. Just like I said, map drive is just gonna come right over. But if you don't, if you have a pie hole, it's gonna block all this stuff right here that we did. It's gonna block it all because the router is not providing the DNS. Guess what's providing the DNS? The pie hole. So you gotta fix it on that too. And then you'll be off to the freaking races, guys. It'll just be so cool. Hey, you might have to restart your pie hole or clear out your catch of your browser. Remember, clearing out the catch of your browser, I can't stress this enough. It might take a minute and then once it's going, you're done, baby. Hey, you know I do these videos for you guys. I hope you and your family are having a rock and rolling day. Peace out and I hope to catch you in the next one. There's always fun, cool stuff coming out and I just get so excited and I hope you do too. Peace out. <music>